Hey everyone, it's Jason of Ishimoto. Today I'm going to show you the wheels, tires, and brakes of the 2015 Mustang EcoBoost. Now keep in mind our car has the uh, performance package, so it's probably a little bit different from what you might see if you don't have the performance package on your car. Our uh, 2015 Mustang has the performance package, which comes with these uh, 255 40 19 Pirelli summer tires in a uh, 19 by 9 wheel. Um, they're 45 millimeter offset. And the thing is with these uh, tires is they're summer tires, so you can't drive these in snow or very cool temperatures. So anything below 40 or 35 degrees, um, these are really going to lose a lot of grip. They're going to get very hard, so you might lose control of the car if you're having track when you rip around corners when it's 30 degrees out. And they will have absolutely no traction in the snow, so you want to get some decent all seasons or snow tires if you're going to drive this car in the snow. Um, now the base GT and some upper level trim packages come with either a 17 inch wheel, 18 inch wheel for the uh, standard GT or a 20 inch wheel also, but our car is a performance package so this is what it gets and um, for you guys with a GT with a little bit of an upgrade you can easily swap these wheels onto your GT because they'll definitely clear your front stock brakes that we're going to touch on pretty soon. We have the front wheel pulled off of our EcoBoost Mustang, and like I said before, this has the uh, performance package, so it has the 13.9 inch front rotors with the four piston calipers. Um, provides really good brake feel, it's a really strong, sturdy pedal. Um, anyone who owns one of those cars or the GT with the same style brakes, um, they're really good. They feel really good when you put your foot into it. Um, the uh, hub spacing here is 5x114. Now, unlike previous Mustangs that used a standard style thread for the hub, these are M14 by 15s so the lug nuts and whatnot are going to be a little bit different. Um, the rotor is fully vented, it has internal vents right here, and um, it'll provide against uh, added heat during those uh, autocross or hot lapping days if you so inclined to do that with your car. See a little bit more into the front suspension when we have the tire pulled off. You can see uh, the front strut here. Um, camber is not adjustable like on some cars. You can't. There's no eccentric here. You can't turn camber and see it through line on a camber plate um, on like an aftermarket coilover if you want to do that. You, know, you see the front end links which have uh, ball joints on them. They're not like a rubber bushing so they're really dur durable over time. Uh, the front suspension arms you can also see a little bit into the uh, front pillow bowl joint for the lateral link. You can see a little bit closer. For you cars without the performance package you're not going to have this joint here. It's going to be a, uh, a rounded control arm with a rubber bushing on the middle. So for you guys that want to upgrade that this would be um, a nice cheap cost effective upgrade to upgrade to this lateral link off the performance package cars probably give you a little bit better steering feel and uh, cornering control as you're going in the corners you see the strut here this is off the performance package it's a different strut slightly different spring um, I don't have the rates right now um, but I'm sure someone will provide different spring rates from different cars uh, installation of springs and shocks to be very easy on this car nothing too bad really straightforward well, that concludes this video about the wheels, tires, and brakes. Uh, stay tuned next time. We're going to take the car up in the air a little bit more and check out the stock exhaust system and routing for the EcoBoost car and what potential changes and improvements we can make with it.